Hello, I'm James from Crayola. Welcome to Creativity Tips. Today's session is on tessellations. Art and math might seem like distant worlds, but they are strongly connected. For example, they share the same vocabulary, like patterns, shapes, and lines. When art and math skills are combined, you can create a tessellation, which consists of repeated shapes that cover a surface without gaps or overlapping. What are some examples of tessellations that you can think of? For this activity, you will create a translation tessellation. You will need index cards, pencil, paper, tape, scissors, and markers. First, you will need to make your index card a square by placing the two cards perpendicular where the top and sides are aligned. Draw a line and cut. Next, decide where you will draw your design. I'm choosing the top and left side of the card. Draw a very simple line design along the edge of the card to make a shape. Cut out each shape. Move and tape each shape to the opposite side of the card. Ready for a creativity tip? Align your card to the top of the paper and trace the outline. To make this a translating tessellation, slide the shape, align, and trace. Repeat this process until you fill the page. Remember, there are no gaps or overlapping. Complete your design by adding colors, lines, and shapes. Parents and teachers, post young artists' creations on social media. Thank you for letting your ideas shine today and stay colorful with creativity tips.